Hello, hello, Aquarius. Thank you and welcome to Letty Bloom. If this is your first time here at my channel, I thank you so much for clicking on my channel. For my subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Okay, today, Aquarius, we're going to do something different. We're going to do a zodiac spread on your 12 houses to see where you are, saying like your communication, your home and family, you know, different changes, how you feel with your community, things of that nature. But it's called the Zodiac Spread. And we're just going to see where you are in all 12 houses today, okay? What's in that current energy in your 12 houses, okay? Um, we're going to start off with some oracles and find out what the theme is. And then after that, we'll get straight into the houses with the tarot cards, okay? But first, we're going to go ahead and clear the energy. Here we go. Let's begin. Okay, Spirit, what is it that we have for Aquarius when it comes to their theme at this time? What is Aquarius's theme at this current time? Okay, let's see what we have for our lovely Aquarius. What is the theme for our lovely Aquarius at this time? What is it that our lovely Aquarius needs to know? Okay. So the first card here is take a risk. The second card here is process your feelings. Okay. And the third card here is the truth. And the overall energy here, Aquarius, is abundance. Okay, what a beautiful card. Okay, so it looks like, you know, we have a couple of you know, um, energies where things can brighten up, but there's a sense of you really listening to your intuition and following um, how you feel inside to create your abundance, okay, at this time, okay, Aquarius? So it's saying that really follow your intuition and there's probably something at this time that you're wondering um, or wanting to start to create some type of abundance in your life, whether it be love, money, or whatever, but it's saying to really look at um, all the details, okay? And go how you really feel and follow your heart, follow your truth, but take a risk at this time, okay? But let's go ahead and pull the tarot, see what they have to say in all 12 houses, okay? So we're going to ask, what is it that Aquarius needs to know in all of their 12 houses at this time, Okay. What is it that our lovely Aquarius needs to know when it comes to their 12 houses at this time? Okay. Okay, I'm going to get one more. One more shuffle here for our lovely Aquarius. All right. All right, what is it that we're going to start off with the first house, which is a for sale for Aquarius. And then we're going to go through the rest of the houses here. Okay. All right, so in the first house we have for self, we have the Knight of Cups. So there's something about you really um, in your feelings right now, okay? And you might have gotten an offer when it comes to some type of um, love or something that you really want to do, okay, concerning love in your, in your life right now, okay? So it's basically... Um, Taking some action towards what it is that your heart really wants at this time, okay? And it's about really being really artistic at this time. This energy is very, you know, um, very sensitive, very emotional at this time, okay? And, you know, it's all about taking that action towards what you really want at this time. OK, so it's an emotional card. OK, but this is also it's a, a card of action. OK, let's move on to your possessions. OK, so when it comes to, you know, how you feel secure wise, I feel like, you know, there is a sense of processing your feelings here because you have the Knight of Cups and then you have the High Priestess. So there's something that, you know, you're really thinking about on a deeper level here. OK, and it's something that you really want. And it's something that you 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 have an urge at this time, okay? And it's like you're being very silent about it, but it's something that is, you know, um, 
sitting down deep in your soul that you really want at this time. Okay, when it comes to communication, we have the hangman. So it's like you're just stuck on something. And, you know, with this card, it's like you're sacrificing something, okay, or you're stuck somewhere. Could be a relationship, okay, it could be a knowing, but it could be something that you really love to do, okay. And you're sacrificing a lot of your time um, for whatever you want at this time. And it's just a sense of knowing at this time. When it comes to home and family, we have the strength card, okay? And the strength card is just letting you know that you have an abundance of, of strength. You see that eight at the top there? That's an abundance, okay? That's seeing that strength never goes out, okay? It's an eight, so it's forever turning, okay? And at this time, it's saying that you have the strength to really move forward, okay? Although you're, you're in a stage where you are really thinking and trying to look at things in a different perspective, is saying that basically at this time is really time to follow your heart, okay? And really understand how you feel inside to move forward, okay, Aquarius? And you really have the strength at this time, the confidence at this time. Everything is there. When it comes to how pleasure-wise, where you're finding your pleasure, it's a sense of you, you know, we have the four swords here, okay? And it's like, you know, you're feeling a little insecure at this time, okay? And feeling, you know, limited to a certain thing. But it's a sense of you also building a stronger inner foundation at this time, okay? And needing to do that, okay, when it comes to what it is that you're doing. So I feel like you are definitely contemplating a lot at this time really thinking about you know what is that your heart deserve, wants at this time what is it that you where is it that you find your abundance okay and I feel that you're just you know really figuring where is your strength at this time okay what it is that you need to follow at this time okay when it comes to your everyday there's a sense of you um being at a crossroads, okay, at this time, okay, not really knowing which direction to go, okay, but it's a serious decision because there's a turning point here, so there's definitely some changes in your life, and you might not can't see everything, but this card is also a card of intuition, you see that moon, and the high priestess is a card of intuition as well, okay, so I'm seeing a lot of thought going here, a lot of healing going forward here, and there's a choice that you have to make at this time, <clears throat> okay? But I see that you're closing yourself, you know, off and really trying to figure out where you are at this time, okay, Aquarius? Um, but let's keep moving here, and then I can look at the whole thing overall. When it comes to romance, there's a sense of someone, or maybe even yourself, you know, um, that's very practical, very down-to-earth, okay, um, maybe you can, you know, connect with, talk to, you know, but it's a sense of you being really practical about where you are in life at this time and really taking a lead on what it is that you want to satisfy you, okay, personally at this time, okay, it's not even about, you know, really about relationships, but I do see that, you know, um, you're really stuck on taking care of yourself at this time and just laying down how you feel. Okay, when it comes to changes, <clears throat> we have the nine of pentacles. So a lot of you are really raising yourself up, okay, knowing that you've been very far in life and you've done a lot of hard work and it's a sense of you knowing that you are able to support yourself, okay, at this time and be happy with that, okay, F for a lot of you. It's a deeper knowing that you're going to be okay if you're in a relationship or not. OK, this is a sense of you having that solo about, you knowing and you just being, you know, in a solitude state right now. OK, and I just feel like, you know, you are thinking about yourself at this time and you're you're contemplating on what it is that you truly want. OK, when it comes to like beliefs and philosophies, you know, what are your, you know, views right now? Yeah, I see that you are taking the lead on being, you know, who you want to be, okay? Being very charismatic, being assertive in what it is that you truly desire, okay? Although you're at a standstill, 
you, your personality is is very alluring, okay? And you're really taking care of yourself right now and healing at this time as well. I sense of, of recovery at this time for you as well in this reading, okay? And I sense that your underlying passion will um, emerge, okay? Because this is what's happening um, while your perception is changing, okay, at this time. Okay, when it comes to how you feel career or reputation or your status, there's a sense of you really not really knowing what you want. Okay, is a sense of you having opportunities, you having options and things coming your way. And there's so many choices where you just like, okay, what is it that I want? Okay, when it comes to where I'm at. Okay, so it's a sense of you being stuck. But the choice is here is just like the night. Follow your heart, okay? Choose one and just focus on that for right now, okay, Aquarius? When it comes to your community, how are you feeling towards the people around you? There's a sense of you really living in a state of, you know, um, your past at this time, okay? And, um, you know, you're feeling a little bit frustrated when it comes to certain things, but I see that, you know, um, there's a lot of things that you're thinking about, okay, when it comes to your community and when it, when it just comes to your past in general. And you, you're trying to really get balanced, okay, when it comes to understanding more about your community, okay? It's a sense of you really trying to find, you know, what it is you need to do to move forward. And that's what you're trying to process right now. What is it that you want next? But abundance is here. Okay, if it comes through um, love or if it comes through, you know, um, helping people or whatever it is, it's a sense of you moving forward. Okay, and when it comes to, you know, how do you feel inward? Is a sense of your vitality just being low. Okay, and you really being burnt out. Okay, you do have the sun though. So the sun is a good card regardless. It's just a sense of you're just taking the time out. To really process where you are, okay, and um, see in which direction to go at this time, okay. And your overall energy here on the bottom, we have the two of, um, not the two of cups, but the lovers, okay. The lovers in reverse. So it's saying that you're, you're really, really thinking about the choices you've made, okay. And um, some of you may have, you know, separated from something, or a relationship, but I really think this is you finding out who you are at this time, okay, and really digging deep and thinking about your choices at this time, and really finding out where you are at this time, okay, Aquarius? So basically, I'm seeing you're in a state of really just taking a pause, really healing at this time, really finding out where you are, really trying to pick the best opportunity forward, Knowing that whatever you're doing, you're thinking about the practical steps of um, your next moves. Although you're very tired, you know, you're in the, in the aspect of really making a change here, okay? And um, you're just like in between, okay? But um, your heart, you being assertive, you know, I see that coming forward and you having the strength to see what your truth is. Okay, so once you do contemplate and come out of this, you know, energy of silence at this time, it's saying to um, assert your best self, be the leader that you are and continue doing that. And, um, you know, um, being a support system for your community and, you know, following what it is that you truly desire, your truth at this time. Okay, and it's saying just to take that risk. Okay, Aquarius, but let's find out what your higher self card has to say. What is it? What guidance do we have for our lovely Aquarius at this time? What is it that our lovely Aquarius needs to know by their higher self? Okay, Aquarius, we have take the first step. Just like the first card here is saying take a risk. This is saying take the first step. So whatever it is you're contemplating on, if you're stuck somewhere, it's saying take the first step. And that's basically saying even the greatest 
was once a beginner. Don't be afraid to take the first step. Okay, your higher self is reaching out to ask you to take a courageous leap forward in order to create a desire you hold deeply in your heart. For most, the first step is into the unknown is frightening, filled with uncertainty and unpredictable variables of the journey ahead. Okay, so if you're creating or if you're trying to, you know, do something different and saying take a step, come out of your comfort zone and move forward. Okay, Aquarius, thank you so much for being here and I hope to see you again on your next reading. Take care. Bye.